Workflows are a powerful tool that you can use to automate many actions in the CRM, like creating tasks, updating fields, sending notifications, and triggering functions. Here I'm in the Workflows rule tab. So let's create a workflow. As with template, workflows are linked to modules. We're going to select the deals module. Add a name and click on next. Here we have to select when this workflow is going to be executed. There are four options, but we're going to focus on the first two. Let's start with daytime field. This will trigger the workflow based on a date or daytime field. There are a few default fields that you can choose from, like created time or modify time, as well as any other custom date fields. Let's select one of them. Then you have to choose when it will trigger. It can be on, before, or after the date. In this section, you can select the execution time. You'll have different options depending on if the field is a date time or a date field. You can also make this recurring. The second option you have to trigger a workflow is record action. This means that the workflow will trigger when the record is either created, modified, or deleted. For example, you can trigger the workflow if the deal state changes. So let's select edit. And we're only going to trigger this when a specific field gets modified. In this case is the stage. It's modified to the value. Proposal sent. This means that every time the deals move to the stage proposal sent, the workflow will trigger. Now let's set a condition. For example, we want deals where the amount is higher than 1000. So amount is bigger than 1000. Next. Now we have to choose the action or actions that we want to accomplish when this workflow is triggered. With field updates, you can automatically update fields to a certain value. It can be a field located in the deals module or any other related module. Assign owner lets you change the record owner. With tags, you can add or remove tags to a record. Email notifications lets you send an email template. So let's set it up with a template that we created in the previous video. Here, click on create email notification. Add a name. Next, click on the to section. Here, we are going to add the context email address. And save. Now click on select template. And we're going to pick the one that we just created. Click on save and associate. As you can see, you can add multiple actions per trigger and even schedule actions. The only limit here is functions. You can only trigger one function as an instant action and one function per schedule action. The max amount of schedule actions per workflow is five. In activities, you can create tasks or meetings. Let's click on add task. Here you can name the task using merge fields if you want. Just press the pound key and select the field. Next, configure the task due date and click on save and associate. With create record, you can create a record in the CRM. For example, you can create a new deal every time a contact is marked as client. Webhooks allow you to send data outside the CRM so other applications can use the data. Normally, you're going to use a webhook if there is no native integration between the CRM and the other app you're trying to send info to. Webhooks are a really powerful tool that I recommend you learn how to use. Check the links in the description for more information about webhooks. Finally, we have function. If you select this action, the workflow will call a function. If you have created functions before, they will be listed here. Otherwise, you can click on new function and then find one in the gallery, choose from your functions or write a new one. We're going to cover the basic of functions in the next video. Keep in mind that you can add multiple conditions to a workflow and it will execute the action you select based on the criteria. All right, the workflow is ready, so let's save it. This workflow is now active. If you want to turn it off, use this toggle. The last thing we are going to go over is the Actions tab. Here you will find all the actions you have configured so far. This is our list of emails, including the ones that we set up in the previous video, our list of automated tasks, field updates, webhooks, and functions.